drag. Hit the Viagra. Three drag. Hey guys, and thank you for joining me for this very special episode of Badash Outdoors. This trip that you are about to see is one of the most exciting things I've ever experienced in my life. And it happened about a year ago now, and I finally had the time during quarantine to put it together and show you. So this video starts when I am leaving ICAST, a fishing convention in Florida. I grab my things, I rush out to the convention center parking area, and waiting me is a minivan. And it's full of my friends and my fishing crew for the weekend. This is the first of three episodes that doesn't just tell the story of epic shark fishing and sword fishing and peacock fishing. It's bulletproof evidence that fishing, friends, and food and adventures outside can enrich your life like nothing else can. Friendship we drove a few hours south and ended up at Michael Grant's house. Michael Grant is a new friend to me, and he was gonna take us out bass fishing in the canals around his house. <laughs> we weren't out on the boat, but for a few minutes before Andrew hooked up on the biggest fish of the day, really nice peacock bass. I caught quite a few myself, and everybody was on the board by the time the fishing trip was over. The next morning, we headed out for some offshore fishing. Seth wanted to give me a proper introduction to offshore fishing in Florida, and the rest of the crew mentioned that they had already had their initiation, so he tied up a special bait for me, set it up on a spinning rod, and he sent me. Hey, Ash. Yeah. Hey, what's going on up there? Oh, it hurts. Oh, is that it a, hurts. Is it a, like a tuna or a I bait think it fish? could be. Oh, nuts! Did it break? Oh! That was a 300 pound bull shark. And it's gone. You just went down. You did. I did. How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, it hurts really good for one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you. Does it feel like you're colloquially tied or not? Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Because mine were the first one I caught. Yeah. This thing's kicking your ass. No, I want I want another. This is boring. Let's do it again. was incredible, it was fun, and it was some of the most excruciating pain I've ever felt trying to reel a massive fish in. But I knew that because the other guys did it, I could absolutely do it, so there was no way I was giving up. And finally, 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 after five attempts, I landed this 300-pound bull shark. We had our fun, then Seth and Michael revealed the plan for the rest of the day, which was we were heading out a little bit further and we were gonna go for big project fish. We stop at this spot, the captain set out a bait and hang it off of this buoy. And a while later, we notice that the buoy flag has fallen over. We wait a little while and then we hear this. The next two hours were undescribable. When you're talking about landing a 400 pound swordfish, a simple hook to the lip is not going to seal the deal. Hold reverse, big, right. big fish. I'm stealing the port. Is he taking drag? No, no, you're getting it. Right here, guys, right here. 
I see him right there. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Come, on, come on, Mike, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up. I'm back turning up. to him, I'm turning to him. Video. I'm, I'm on, on video, him. I'm on video. Neutral. I'm in forward. Get up and missile. We need a gap. We need a gap. We need a gap. It's under the rail. It's under the rail. Get the. You want to get the other? We need another harpoon. Another harpoon. Another harpoon. Let's get that harpoon out. This is far from over. This is far from over. This is far from over.